The power of the analog heat plus effects are extended even further with a MIDI sequencer. And Electron's MIDI sequencer is the perfect match for these effects. We've got eight effects here, which can be controlled via CC via a MIDI sequencer. Here I've got the Syntac, but you could use an Octatrack or even your Digitact as well. It's not just the audio that's being routed into the analog heat, it's also that we're sending MIDI information and controlling many of the effect parameters, actually all of them pretty much. Now using the Electron Sequencer with its parameter locks, oh my God, this, just, this becomes an incredible, uh, the analog heat becomes an incredible creative tool that can just mangle and twist audio at your delight. Now, I'm gonna go a bit crazy here, but you use it to your taste. So what we have to do first is create a MIDI channel that I've done here on track seven and eight. You can see here it says MIDI. Then I assign my CC by first checking the manual where you'll see the actual CC assignments. And you can see here I've got 107, 113, 109 and so on. Over on this page, I've got the actual CC value. So I click function to actually turn the value on. And now I get to twist these as I record or play the sequence itself. So I'm actually sequencing four parameters here. Uh, track seven is the delay and track eight, I've got the reverb and the chorus. So let's have a listen to this dry sequence first. With the power of the electron sequencer, I can either parameter lock the parameters of the effects themselves on the analog heat plus effects, or I can do some real time control and just twiddle the knobs and go crazy. Now you heard that the delay is a little bit tamed here and that's for demonstration purposes, but we can go completely crazy and almost create a new sound. I'm only scratching the surface here to show you how to do this, but don't forget you've got eight different effects. You can really jump down that rabbit hole and completely twist audio like you wouldn't believe. All with an electron sequencer and of course, electrons analog heat plus effects. Okay, until next time.